finally, a source of raw, real, and honest information on healthcare issues that matter most. Welcome to BS Free MD. From the latest medical information to how to stay sane as a doctor or a patient, no subject is taboo, no BS is allowed. Now, let's welcome your hosts, Doctors May and Tim Heinmarsh. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Super excited to have you this week, along with our guest. And this week is one of those stories that I love featuring innovative uh, items and products in healthcare that have come out of a problem. So wherever there's a problem, there's a solution. And that's exactly uh, what our guest is going to share with us today. The company we are featuring is actually called Dermadry, and it's pretty much how a problem with sweaty palms caused the domino effect that helped thousands of people um, and solved their own issue. So our guest today will talk all about hyperhidrosis and effective tools for getting rid of excessive sweating. It's a pretty cool story and yeah. something that a lot of people could benefit from for sure. Well, don't hang around me because I cause excessive sweating. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the leading I guess cause of excessive I'm gonna sweating. need a I'm gonna need a, a treatment for that. Make it stop. Uh, so sweat no more. Just hang around for that episode. Before we jump in, I want to uh, share with our listeners a special discount code that we have with our partners at Cabinet Health. They were guests on our show in the past and have a wonderful selection of over-the-counter medications that you can get and reduce your carbon footprint by eliminating plastic waste, reordering, and all you need to do is check out their website and type in the code BSFREE15 and you will receive a 15% off um, at uh, your initial purchase. So BS free 15. Yeah. I would encourage everyone get their, um, they have like a starter kit where they have some, you know, over the counter decongestant and melatonin and so forth, just sort of a smattering of the, the things they offer. And they come in these amazing bottles that you just keep refilling as they send you the biodegradable and like essentially like they're like foil biodegradable envelopes that the refills come in. Awesome stuff. Um, very effective. I've been taking their melatonin for the last week, and oh my gosh, it's a game changer compared to other stuff. It knocks me out within half an hour, and then I wake up instantly refreshed, sleeping through the night. So check it out, Cabinet Health. All right, let's get into the show this week. You are going to find this totally fascinating. So here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show this week. And we are really excited. And this is going to be a really interesting topic to discover um, what's going on in the world of hyperhidrosis sweating that everybody uh, hates to have. So welcome to our guest, um, found co-founder of this product, Dermadry, um, Matt Miro from Montreal. Welcome to the show. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. So um, why don't you go ahead and like tell us a little bit about yourself, the company, how it came to be, um, and how it got founded. Great. So basically, the Dermadry, we sell a machine that's called an ion tophoresis device, which is as hard to understand as it is as hard to pronounce. And basically, we sell a solution that uh, treats excessive sweating of hands, feet, and underarms. And the way that it treats excessive sweating is that we send a really mild electrical current through the surface of the skin. And the electricity is going to come and kind of disrupt the connection between the nerve and the sweat gland. So it sounds really uh, fancy pantsy, but if you go see on the website or any video of somebody using the machine, it's really, really easy to understand. People simply put their hands in a tray filled with water. Uh, we have a device that sends a really small electrical current through that tray with water. And um, the treatment lasts about 20 minutes for hands and feet and 15 minutes for underarms. And you could have a positive effect, so no more sweating for a period up to six weeks, um, which is completely amazing for people who suffer from excessive sweating. 
the reason why I love doing these podcasts, meeting people uh, that love to talk about entrepreneurial stories, etc., is because most people who have excessive sweating do not talk about it. There are studies that have been made that uh, people who suffer from excessive sweating don't even talk about it to their doctors, their spouse, their friends, etc. And this is uh, this links back to the founding story of our company is that one of the co-founders had excessive sweating on his hands and feet. He didn't say it to anybody. His parents didn't know. His best friends didn't know. Um, until the day that he found a solution for his excessive sweating, he built a machine at home, an iron roof resist machine at home. And he went to me and another of his really good friends. So we were friends since high school. And he said, guys, I have a secret. And we were like, what? What's going on? He's like, I have found the solution to treat excessive sweating. <laughs> He's like, what? What do you know about this? Do you have excessive sweating? He was like, yes. It was my deep, darkest, deepest secret. And I'm finally telling it to you. And so he admitted to us that he had excessive sweating just because he wanted to build this company with us. Uh, and uh, afterwards, he described to us how bad it felt to have excessive sweating. So people who have excessive sweating is basically the biggest problem in their life. For people who have dry hands like me or uh, sweaty under and like dry underarms, it's hard to understand how much of a big toll it takes. But for people who have excessive sweating, it's basically the only thing you're thinking about day in and day out. So he would tell us that he was so shy to going to his friend's place because he knew that it meant he needed to take off his shoes. So that made him a really introverted person and he didn't want to go to anybody's homes because he knew that he would simply stink up their whole home because of his shoes. He was so shy holding girls' hands during dates that he didn't want to go to any dates. And of course, he was so shy of his sweating on his underarms that he didn't want to do any presentations at school or during business meetings. So you can see it really took a toll on his life. And um, when he told us all these things and we realized, okay, we could offer a solution that's easy, not that expensive, and that could completely sort of change somebody's life um, we, were, we said to ourselves, okay, let's go all in. We all uh, left our corporate jobs. We did this for a couple of years with no income because it took some time to build the machine, get it certified by Health Canada, FDA, et cetera. And a couple of years later, uh, we are so happy because we helped out more than 100,000 people all across the world with our solution. And it's really just the beginning because we, we want to become, you know, the alternative to deodorants. Uh, we want to become the alternative to... Uh, to any type of solution and become a household name. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the the story. Uh, very, <laughs> very in a quick picture. Okay. Well, that, no, that's awesome. So there's a couple things that come up like when, and again, you're saying like, if you don't have this problem, hyperhidrosis, yeah. it, it's very easy to kind of go, well, that's just dumb. Like, like <sighs> you know, like who, who cares? I mean, so, you, you know, everyone's armpits sweat a little bit. No, no, this is, this is a completely different level of, of uh, sweating, and it's also a really completely different level of how awkward this is in social situations. Like, can you imagine if you're a used car salesman and your hands literally, when you make a fist, you can literally drip sweat out of your hand? Like, that's how, ba how bad it is for some people. So every single time you meet somebody on the car lot and you shake their hand, they think that you're the slimy used car salesman, yeah. Yeah. you know, or what if you're a pastor or a priest and, you know, and you're, you're handing communion out and your hands are like, so, I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's not, not just a medical problem. It's the social aspects to this that are massive. Yeah. We, I, I don't know the exact, maybe you do incidents of severe hyperhidrosis in the population, but I know that from treating patients and we have a, I'll just say a family member that struggles with this from all that you said, you know, if patients actually do even bring it up to us, which is honestly really rare. It's not a common thing that they would come to us as family docs that, you know, know them through thick and thin and even delivering their babies. It's not like something that people real readily discuss. I think there's a lot of shame, but just from the family member we have, I mean, we know very well that not just the social things, but it really impacts things as far as simple things like life choices, like you cannot do certain sports because you can't hang on to like the baseball bat or gymnastics because you can't grip you know, all the chalk in the world isn't going to save you. Um, hanging on to writing 
tools, you know, stress during a test and hang onto the pencil or so many things um, are impacted that alter your life choices because of, because of this, uh, right. as far as, you know, then there's the obvious, you know, sweating through clothes, which is embarrassing, but you're right. The feet, um, it that determines is- what kind of shoes you have to wear, everything. Yeah, things that we really take for granted, like um, when we started selling these devices, we thought, okay, it's going to help people feel more confident, but we didn't understand the deep underlying effects. So for example, one of the first reviews we got on our website was somebody saying like, I'm so happy, I'm finally going to be able to go get some manicures. And then we understood that, okay, so people are so ashamed to put their hands in somebody else's hand. And we, we had the first uh, reviews we had, other people were saying, okay, I could finally wear sandals without slipping and falling on the ground. <laughs> and all these things that, you know, we take so for granted, like wearing shoes, like the shoes you want to wear. But for people who have excessive sweating, every day is a struggle. They need to, okay, they open up their wardrobe. What black shirt am I going to put today? Okay, what uh, shoe, ugly shoe, because it needs to breathe a lot, am I going to wear today? Um, how am I going to make sure that I'm always going to be like at least two meters of a distance of somebody so he won't be able to smell me? So it's like really, really things that we take for granted that these people have always in the back of their mind. Right. And then the secondary problems that come with it, especially excessive sweating on the feet, then you're getting wet feet all, the, all day long. And, you know, unless you're changing your socks a couple times a day, which we would advise people, then you can get secondary uh, fungal infections of the skin. And that's a whole yeah. ball of wax. It's annoying, um, as well as even just irritation on the hands and underarms. You know, you're getting Mark. eczema. And so it, it sets you up for secondary issues and problems. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think people that don't have it don't understand. And of course, as you get more nervous and you're thinking about your excessive sweating, what happens? You sweat more because the autonomic nervous system triggers the sweat glands to just open up and pour out their their yeah their, yeah their, so you get well, this yes. negative feedback yes. loop that's yes. not great so tell us a little bit about the device you know do people use this in their homes do they go to the you know dermatologist's office do they you know how, how does that work so it is a home use device so people will use this at home um, and that is for us really the what we wanted to offer people, because if you need to go to your doctor's office every week or every two weeks, it is kind of very, very inconvenient. So this is very easy to use at home. You use it while <laughs> watching Netflix, while talking to your significant other, while cooking. It's, it's so easy to use that it's almost a, a joke. People almost forget uh, when they're using it because it's so easy to, you know, not think about it. Um, so it is, as I said, 15 minutes for hands and feet and front arms is 15 minutes. Uh, usually people will need to use it about once every two to three weeks to maintain the positive effects. But for people who don't sweat, you know, who their excessive sweating is kind of mild, it can last up to six weeks. So you can imagine somebody who... Uh, every day needed to change their t-shirts three times a day going from that to only using a machine you know once every six weeks for these people it's almost like it's a miracle you know and that's what a lot of our reviews say and what people say to us it's their lives change uh, 180 and they're you know it's if when sometimes i'm having a bad time at work or things are more difficult with the job i just go through the reviews and i see all the good that we're making and it makes me so happy sometimes that it almost brings me to tears to know the difference that we're making in the world yeah that's amazing and so obviously it's not the it, it can't completely cure this yeah. like you can't just you know use this and and you're done your sweat glands aren't going to work anymore so it's a main, there's an initial i'm assuming an initial a phase where you're using it regularly and then the maintenance phase like you said depending on how severe your symptoms are and the part of the body how often you need to use the machine so i'm assuming people just sort of tailor it to when they notice it's getting worse again go ahead and use it correct yeah exactly so in most cases people need to use the machine uh, almost eight times in a row so like let's say uh four times one week, four times the other week. And afterwards they would see that's, I'm just talking about the typical participant and then they would see the positive effects and then they only need to use it for a maintenance treatment. And you're right uh, for, for let's say for feet, because the skin is much more thicker, uh, they could use a more intense electrical current. So usually they would see results much 
faster, whereas for underarms, because the skin is so much uh, thinner, it takes more time because, you know, they can't use uh, such uh, intense electrical current. So um, you're right that it, there is a time difference between the zones. So this iontophoresis current is basically what's happening. So that's the sort of scientific level of this. And it's helping shut off the autonomic nervous system to that area, right? Is that some... Yes. So so to, to be 100% honest with you and your listeners, and this is a solution that's been on the market since uh, 1940s, so iontophoresis machines. And scientists don't have uh, a unanimous response about how this works. There's a lot of different explanations, but no one has pinpointed exactly. Some people think that it pushes ions into the sweat glands and because the sweat glands are blocked, uh, there can be no uh, release of the sweat. But no, yeah, so, so nobody has an official response. This is our explanation from our understanding of the human body, but it, it is not the official official response because nobody knows exactly the way it works. So what about I was gonna, what about potential side effects? Yeah, like, I was do, you, say, do, you, do you lose like sensation in your it, hands? Do you you know do you grow yeah. a sixth toe? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like is it pain? So the thing is, yeah, with a lot a lot of electrical devices that people use, like tens units for headache or back pain. I mean, is there any tingling? Is there pain? Is it get worse as you dial it up? Is yeah. What what happens yeah, yeah, with that? Yeah. So as a joke, we like to say to our customers that uh, one of the side effects is that you're going to be able to predict the weather. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But, but uh, on a more serious note, um, of course, there's no solution that doesn't have a side effect. And in our case, what we're really happy about is that the side effects are really mild. So you might notice redness on skin. Uh, you might uh, notice uh, that your skin is kind of irritable. Um, but all of the side effects will dissipate as soon as you stop using the machine. So as soon as the skin you know, regenerates, you won't see them anymore. Um, so when you compare eye to resist machines uh, to other alternatives such you know, as Botox, such as um, topical uh, antiperspirants with a high level of aluminum or, you know, oral medication. All these uh, solutions have kind of side effects that are very, very important. Um, whereas our machine, it, when you compare it to those solutions, are, can be considered kind of safe. Um, so let's say for Botox, it is very painful. You lose motricity uh, at the place where you inject it. Um, and there's about two people per day in the United States who die because of a Botox injection that's not done correctly, simply because it is a toxin. And if you inject it into a vein uh, and the vein brings the toxin to the heart, then you will die, you know? Um, and for yeah, I was going to yeah. just sort of interrupt, but I mean, Botox, is, I mean, is, Tim jokes, it's like, what did you say? It's like bread. No, I forget that truck stop sushi. I mean, there's so many people that are doing Botox. I don't know what up in Canada, but in the U.S. everywhere. I mean, it's the new thing, and and people don't really realize that someone well, Botox can have a fatal event not, if it's not well, done correctly. Yeah, but Botox is Botox is in the family of of toxins that are the most toxic substances in the in the entire Earth. So yeah. tetrodotoxin yeah. is what you know the pufferfish or whatever makes is tetrodotoxin, right, right. which is essentially amped up Botox. It's the same thing. They're neurotoxins. I mean, the reason they work is because they paralyze things. Right. And, and so, so, you know, like... And I, I'm not, sh not sure how many people that actually are if, that are listening that even knew you could do Botox for excessive sweating, but it's well, there's, commonly done by right. plastic surgery offices or dermatologists. Well, the other thing that, the other thing I, that you didn't mention is their surgery. I mean, there's people that yeah. get Yes. Uh, you know, the, the underarms, if you get um, hydroadenitis superbita, which is really horrible inflammation of the sweat glands, then somebody has to go in and, you know, dissect your sweat glands out of your armpits, which sounds just amazing. So uh, and then there's the the um, neurosurgery where they go in and actually cut the the nervous tracts mm -hmm. at your yeah. spinal cord level. To cut off. We've seen people that I've seen someone that had that done. I mean, that's totally extreme. But yeah. but but if yeah. the, if this, I mean, but we've known people, and they're they're like, I don't care. Cut whatever you got to cut. If my hands aren't right. going to be like total grease all the time. Yeah, and then the other then the other option out there is the aluminum chloride solutions, like deodorant that you can rub 
on to your hands and feet, which I think has limited use well, in, in mild cases. Yeah, you're really. plug, I mean, you're plugging your sweat glands with and aluminum. And all that aluminum. And nobody knows what aluminum does. And then there's always the scare of, you know, you know the Alzheimer's. Yeah. Connection. Um, you know, pathogenesis of Alzheimer's, which no one's figured out, but they do see that there's these high concentrations right. of aluminum in people's brains with Alzheimer's. So I don't know how much so, I'd so want to soak my body in aluminum. This a pretty aluminum. nice alternative for that. Yeah, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So I'm happy you mentioned uh, the surgery, which uh, is uh, mostly called the ETS surgery. Um, it, it does work tremendously. So you will be able to cut uh, and stop sweating on the hands. But in most cases, patients will have something called compensatory sweating. So they won't stop on their hands anymore, sweat on their hands anymore, but they're going to sweat profusely on their back, groin area, legs. Um, and there's numerous movements online uh, to ban this type of surgery because it, the side effects are so much bigger than the positive effects. And there's, there's, so there's, there's, there's studies on this. And because there's not a lot of people who get the surgery, it's hard to have hard data. And so it's very subjective studies. But there's even some cases where people have lost the capacity of having emotions. So because we don't really understand so well the link between the nerves, et cetera, how the, you know, the body is kind of, you know, there's a, there is a, I'm, uh, so the mind body connection basically. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, so it's really hard to understand really what, you know, what causes what. So there's some people who said they were lost the capacity to be happy. So like, yeah, my hands don't sweat anymore, but I'm not happy about it because <laughs> I cannot have. It. Wow. Maybe there's a lot more to the Chinese medicine of electrical currents and, and your well, well-being than we really know. I mean, it's fascinating. I mean, right? it, it really, it, you know, it, it really is trying to pull weeds with a, grenades yeah when you yeah. when you think of sort yeah. of how crude the surgery is it's like well let's just cut the tracks well what else do the tracks do i don't know let's just cut them <laughs> oh. you know i mean th th right. this is sort of like you know it's a, maybe an extreme example but it reminds me of kind of the lobotomy stuff well we know where the, the emotional center is in your brain let's just you know kind of mush that up a little bit and you won't be sad yeah well you won't be anything <laughs> right yeah it's, you know it's, but people will go to extreme measures when they're suffering absolutely yeah so, so is, what's the what's the um, age range contraindications for using it? I can you use this in kids, teenagers, um, yep. pre pregnant people. Yeah. So that's a, an amazing question. So basically, in the U.S., it's the only place in the world where uh, it's over twenty three. Um, it's simply because when it was first categorized in the past, it was so iatrophoresis machines have numerous purposes. You can inject drugs with the iatrophoresis machines. So in the United States, when it was first uh, categorized by the FDA, it was really categorized as uh, the big, big, you know, umbrella of iatrophoresis machines. So uh, this is in the same category as iatrophoresis machines to inject uh painkillers under the skin to inject uh, even Botox under the skin. Because of that, it is considered only for people over 23 and under doctor's uh, prescription. For the rest of the world, it is over the counter and it is 13 years uh, of age. Um, and for the contraindications is, of course, people who are pregnant shouldn't, shouldn't use the machine. People who have a uh, any type of metal implants shouldn't use the machine because, of course, electricity that you put into the body will have a tendency to concentrate around the metallic implants and it could cause internal uh, burning. Um, but we explain it very well in the manual of instruction. And our, if, if people have uh, any types of questions, please let us know. Um, but all these, once again, just because the level of electricity is so, so, so mild. All these measures of contraindications are really for to be excessively uh, safe uh, because I think in most cases it would be very, very safe to use, but I, we just want to be ex more precautious than we need to be because, of course, it is a medical device. And it is a, it's called an internal treatment because electricity goes through the surface of the skin. And because of that, uh, we need to be double uh, precautious. So, so you said it's over the counter. So, so in what, Canada, I'm assuming can, people in, can in just Canada. go. And so, get, like get when we go up to visit friends and family in Canada, can I just go to like Shoppers Drug Mart and buy one of these? So, so we don't. We're not yet into um, Shoppers, etc. <laughs> on our website, you could buy on Amazon. You could buy on Costco. And there are certain places. It's more um, oriented for like uh, podiatrists. Podiatrists really love our machine because. 
as soon as the a patient comes in and they take off their shoes and it, you know they know instantly if somebody suffers from excessive sweating or not so they really have almost you know a personal incentive to offer them a machine because they don't want their patients to think have stinky feet. <laughs> they, they would well, much- and then they're dealing right, and then they're dealing with the consequences, which is you know the fungal and the toenails, ingrown toenails. I mean, it kind of snowballs. Yeah, but, th- but that's but, but then but, they can make money. But, but that <laughs> that's how you get paid <laughs> anyway. Is by taking an ingrown yeah. toenail. So what you're saying is, so the podiatrist then can sell them out of their office to the patients that need them secondarily yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. There's a lot of things of course that are available around the world but not in the u.s because it's so highly regulated my there's a migraine therapy machine that uh called cephaly device that you could buy over the counter and in costco in canada that yeah. you, know, you had to get a prescription for in the u.s so in the u.s it's prescription through your physician um, and then they would order it through your company is that correct Exactly. Your website, uh, we ship from Montreal. So it takes about uh, one to three days to ship. It's it's super fast. And what is the price on this device? So right now, because (laughs) everything is costing so much more across the world, uh, our machine costs $489. We needed to increase the price. It was forever. It was $349. And the end game for us, it would be to have a machine that would be, you know, $199, even why not ninety nine dollars? Um, because we know that the, the real competition is deodorants. Um, when people want to fix their problem when they have sweating, the first thing they type on Google would be you know uh, strong deodorant. Um, so that's really the end game would be to have something that is really really consumer strength centric and that's in every Walmart, every Publix in the United States. Um, but of course, right now it is really hard because, you know, inflation is making everything mm-hmm. cost more. Right. But uh, the end game would be to have something that is super affordable. And it's not because you have money that you deserve to be able to treat your excess sweating. Everybody deserves to be able to treat this condition. So that's why we want to have it as, as affordable as possible. And what about the maintenance of the machine? I mean, is there solutions that they have to continue to buy? Is it use uh, sterile water? Is there pads? things that need to be updated or not really so that's the beauty of this machine and so initially when we built the 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 business we thought that we're going to have recurrent revenues once the people buy our machine and sadly for us we don't make a lot of recurrent revenue and have very happily for the client is once they buy our machine they usually don't need to buy anything for the first year or two years eventually they'll need to buy replacement uh, aluminum uh, parts, but that uh, will take a lot of time. And uh, for the towels and for the underarm pads, if they take care of it, they, it also lasts for a very, very long time. It sounds like uh, you should have made them not last as long. <laughs> you <laughs> know, it's it's like it's like LED bulbs. Okay, now your bulb is going to live four hundred yeah, times okay. longer than you. I'm like. <laughs> that guy doesn't work for the LED bulb company anymore, does he? No, yeah. that's great. Actually, I think the just under five hundred dollars is still very reasonable. Like when you when you compare what people would pay, even you know, like in our situation, we've practiced medicine for almost thirty years in the United States. But just in co payments for your insurance, for you know, visits for you know, Botox injections, which you probably would never get approved anyways for this problem with. You know, if you if you did get surgery approved, how expensive that would be, et cetera, et cetera. I, I think it's I think it's incredibly reasonable in the grand scheme of things. Um, you know, it's just a capital outlay up, up front that some people don't want to do. But I would think for some people, for most people that truly have hyperhidrosis, that's interfering with their life and their social life. Th- this is nothing. I mean, yeah. you know, can you go to can you can you go to downtown Montreal and see? Uh, a play, have a nice dinner, and pay for parking for four hundred bucks. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, less and less for sure. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned, you know, the vision, the dream to be in every drugstore everywhere to replace a lot of the uh, deodorants. Was there a would there be a market or time and a place where this is something that everybody would use, even if it's not excessive sweating? I mean, would it make sense to just everybody use it like, hey, I really hate dealing with my armpits because I go to the gym all the time. And so this would be nice to, I could just buy this machine and use it for the first whatever couple of weeks and then just do a maintenance thing of once a week. That would be 
I mean, I could see that being there would be a market a market for that for not pe- for people without excessive sweating, just everyday use. Absolutely. So, yeah, that would be the end game. Of course, people who have that type of you know very very mild sweating, like day to day sweating, they wouldn't be willing to pay five hundred dollars for this. But if it's a hundred dollars, maybe it becomes more reasonable for them to have this in the back of their home and say like, hey, I know in two weeks. I have a presentation, or a lot of people. What they do, it's, it's funny enough. A lot of people before their marriage, they buy a machine, just be like, okay, for my wedding dress, I do not want to sweat. Um, so, for big events like that, yeah, it definitely could be a machine that could be used in those uh, in that context. That actually, that's really good points. Although I'm surprised, and the older I get, the more I'm finding, you know, the, the younger generations are very in tune with, you know, cutting down on waste products and you know you think of all the plastic you go through and having to go out and buy all the i mean they're starting to make some uh, paper-based deodorant packaging now which is kind of cool but i mean there's a lot of waste in that and so people might find it just to be a sustainable and really earth friendly type of thing um and that's important to a lot of people well yeah and for like the 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 sweating through the wedding dress that that's a that's a big deal i mean i know i sweated like crazy through my wedding dress but that <laughs> it was um you did yes i would need this attached to my underwear no i'm just kidding so uh so the thing the thing that was really um you know that but that's a big deal because there's even the you know okay so you got a cake on this stuff under your armpits and then and then you know you have this like powder or whatever residual you know it's stressful well, you're and standing a lot in of front people, of a lot of people we know I mean, a lot of people that deal. react to, to deodorants and then yeah. they're dealing with eczema from that and it's they can't even deal with it so that's another yeah, and another I, niche market yeah we, we've noticed that like our, our our kids are you know born in the late 90s and and that whole sort of awareness of better living through chemistry was probably not the right idea <laughs> is has been really powerful and uh you're the second uh entrepreneur that we've talked to that has looked at kind of one of these elegant solutions where you don't you know you're you're not just producing throwaway consumables which which is actually really cool because i mean we're all the generation it's just like you know i mean we we had styrofoam big mac containers right it's like who cares yeah, yeah, throw yeah. it away yeah right yeah exactly mm-hmm. so that's this really is, interesting this so- Oh, go oh, ahead. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. So, so basically, it's really—I uh, don't know when this is going to be published, but tomorrow is going is Earth Day, and we have actually a campaign designed for Earth Day because when you think about it, people who have excessive sweating, on average, they buy about two antiperspirants per year, per month. So, on a yearly basis, that's that adds up and. For for Derma Dry, basically, we think that the 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 value, I mean, the lifetime uh, use of this machine is about ten years. If we're very conservative, if not, it could be you know twenty, thirty years. There's no reason why it shouldn't be that long. So basically, you save about three hundred to four hundred deodorants during that period. That doesn't look a lot for one customer, but right now we sold more than you know, let's say a hundred thousand units. That really adds up. That's like almost the four million deodorants in the world that were not right. thrown into the garbage uh, because of our machine. Right, not right now, but in the lifetime value, you know. So, absolutely, we think that it that it is a much more uh, eco friendly solution because you only have one. You don't have numerous consumables. Uh, you don't need to always go to the uh, Publix to get your deodorant, so that makes less travel by car. You know, the shipment is only one time. You don't ship a lot of uh, deodorants to the supermarkets, etc. So, yes, yeah, so we, we really believe this is an eco-friendly solution as well to uh, excess sweating. No, this is this is great, um, and and uh, I like it. So, four, we have we have a very eclectic group of people that listen to us. Yes, uh, probably half. Half physicians, uh, half um, non-physicians, and then we have a whole bunch of people from Canada, uh, you know, friends, family, and then, you know, the people they they tortured with our <laughs> podcast that have we, some of our biggest fans actually are in Canada, which is which is really amazing. So for our Canadian listeners to start with, because you are a Canadian company, um, uh, they can order this from Amazon.ca, the Costco. How, how does that work? 
So in Canada, it's super easy. Costco.ca, you're going to receive it within one or two, two days. Amazon Prime, you're going to receive it within one to two days. Our website, you're going to receive it within one to two days. If you're in Montreal, please come see us. We love to meet potential uh, clients. We love to talk about the machine uh, and you'll receive it instantly. Um, and for anywhere else in, across the world, you could buy either via Amazon. So uh, in Europe, we are on every Amazon platform in most of Asia as well. Or not, you could buy via our website as well. And uh, we do have some distributors in numerous countries, um, but uh, they're kind of smaller countries where the local re regulation required us to have a, a distributor. And then you need a prescription in the United, in United States, States, is that correct? Yeah. So you do require a prescription in the United States. We do work with the different telemedicine companies to help the clients. So if uh, it's hard for you to talk to your physician about the solution, please let us know. And of course, we're going to refer you to the correct telemedicine uh, service. Perfect. Yeah. So that's good to know. So someone who th reaches around to their, you know, their dermatologist or plastic surgeon or did and they're like, I have no clue about this device. They can contact you directly and you'll put them in contact with someone that does the telemedicine to screen them, go through the criteria and can get them the device that way. Correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it is okay. a rigorous process. They're going to ask you, uh, where do you sweat from? Uh, do you have any contraindications, et cetera? But uh, yes, absolutely. We can definitely help the, the potential clients that and your website just the, shout out your website for us and i'll link it in the show notes so it's dermadry.com and um we are very present also on social media where we try to de-dramatize a bit what uh, excessive sweating is because it is considered the taboo condition once again because people are so ashamed about it and they don't talk it, about it to anyone so we try to use a lot of humor uh, to open up the discussion about excessive sweating um, and that's why we do these podcasts as well, just because if we don't engage a conversation around excessive sweating, it's not going to be uh, people who have it because they're so ashamed of the con condition. Well, this is uh, awesome because, you know, as a healthcare people ourselves and having treated patients and family members and been researching stuff, this is something that I wasn't even really aware of until, you know, we were contacted by, by you. So this is just amazing we love innovative things we love um things that are changing people's lives and making them better and improving their health so this is awesome super excited to share so we will yeah share your um social media links as well and your website and i really hope that uh people get in touch with you and it could be game changing 100 percent. yeah so anything else any last words you want to throw our way that uh we might have missed in asking? Um, no, I just really want to put it out there for everybody who's listening who has excessive sweating or any type of condition that they're ashamed about. Uh, the first step to finding a solution is to talk about it. And in most cases, um, it's the person you're going to tell it to. He won't laugh at you. He'll be very comprehensive. And it's going to be so much less uh, shameful than you initially thought. So... Um, if uh, Dermadry is not the correct solution for you, uh, is simply talk about it around you and maybe you find the correct solution for you. And that's really why we do this is for people to be able to find problems uh, find solutions to the problems that they have. Yeah, that's a, awesome. And it's such a cool story too, how your company came to be finding a solution to a problem that someone had and like just changing lives. I love it. I love it. All right. Thanks, Matt, for being here with us so much. Um, this has been wonderful. And I know that everybody's, people are going to love this episode. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so, so, so uh, grateful. That was great. Um, I just love the whole concept of, you know, there's a problem. Is there a novel way to solve a problem, you know, rather than just medications and so forth. And, and actually, you know, we've been through this with patients and it sounds like it's not that big of a deal until you have it. And in, it can be major and life changing as we discussed. And the treatments suck. I mean, they do. And to be able to do an ion phoresis treatment at home as many times as you need, and then it's just every you know few weeks or so, way better and way less side effects than what we have now. And then you know the the other alternative is massive amounts of aluminum chloride on your hands or under underarms, and God only knows what that stuff does long term. We clearly don't. So yeah. good stuff. 
I mm, totally agree. I mean, people think we talked mostly about the, you know, the hands, feet, but that um, excessive um, irritation on the skin is a big problem. But the armpit problem for a lot of people becomes a huge issue because they end up being on antibiotics, which a lot of people don't realize um, because their sweat glands get infected, plugged, infected, and then it causes just a snowball effect where they then scar and keep getting infected. And so... And then they get massive armpit surgery, which yes. sounds super awesome. I mean, they pretty much have to have glands and surgically excised just because it's a, a mess. So I hope that that really helps alleviate some of that for those patients because it would be a game changer completely. So... um we will link all of their, um, the, um, well, I'll link their website um, and where you can look up their product. And then obviously for customers and listeners in the U.S. who require a prescription, they'll have the ability for you to get in contact with a healthcare provider in our area. Hopefully that can uh, set you up with that if that's something you're interested in. So for those of us with contacts in Canada. Maybe you'll be contrabanding it across the the border if that's possible. So, all right. Um, one more time, just want to remind everybody to check out Cabinet Health because I am really blown away with this starter company. They're now actually found on um, and partnering with Grove. So if you know um, Grove Health and their also partner Thrive I believe it is the name that does food and Grove is a company that believes in decreasing um, the carbon footprint in home and health products. So they have really neat soap, uh, cleaners, biodegradable products. They get rid of a lot of junk that's in our household cleaning products. And so that the fact that they're partnering with Grove is huge because that's a really big company and well-known and they, um, they do good things for the earth. Right. So I'm decreasing my carbon footprint with over the counter drugs as I rapidly increase it with old cars. So I would call this, uh, the Al Gore carbon offset. Yes. You know, you gotta have balance. So you're balanced. <laughs> I'm very well balanced on that note. Um, share this podcast with anybody you think you could benefit from this or just listening in general. And we hope to see you next week. And thanks for being here. It's no secret that medicine is a bit um, uptight. That's why Tim and I created BS Free MD to mix things up a little and have fun in the process. Besides, we are having these exact same discussions all the time. So we thought we might as well invite everyone to the party. If you really like us, you can get plenty more and maybe see one of Tim's cool tattoos on our Instagram or Facebook pages at BS Free MD. See you next time. Well, we try to keep BS Free MD as raw and real as possible. We can't be held responsible for any medical decisions or discussions had as a result of what you've heard on the show. We know bummer but the truth is we really do care about your questions so feel free to reach out to us by email at doc at bsfreemd.com.